Hey everyone, I have finally decided to jump off the cliff. I'm actually launching the Visual Thinking Workshop. Those of you who have been following me on YouTube, on my blog or on Twitter, you no doubt know that I'm keen on personal knowledge management and I'm absolutely bullish about making my notes and my thinking more visual. It's a bit scary to think about it, but my interest in information management goes back to about 25 years ago when I started my PhD research about information management in agricultural quality management. Ever since my research, I've always enjoyed tweaking my note-taking tools to better fit my information management workflows. However, it wasn't until the pandemic hit that I decided to become more active in sharing my experience. Since then, I've published dozens of blog posts and YouTube videos about my note-taking workflows, about different algorithms of thought and visual thinking frameworks like the Thinking Maps or the Wardley Maps. I've also built a number of tools in this period to support my workflows, such as the Obsidian Excalidraw and the Excalibrain plugins. To be honest, I've been thinking about launching a visual thinking course for almost a year now. Earlier this year, I even created this mind map about topics I would cover in the course. After ruminating on the subject, however, I finally decided to launch a more focused workshop first, concentrating on the topic of authoring book on a page summaries. This is because I believe that this process is a extremely valuable in deeply understanding a book and b the workflow includes many different activities where we will have a chance to talk about a broad set of visual thinking tools in practice. This is my plan for the workshop at a glance. I'm thinking we're going to have six sessions. We'll have the first session on the 5th of November and the last one right before Christmas on the 17th of December. And we're going to jointly work through a book that the team is going to choose. I have a couple of book recommendations. I'm also open to other suggestions. At the first session, we are going to agree which book we are reading. The reason I have these books here, because these have been on my to read list. And I thought that this would be a great opportunity to read alongside the workshop participants and to create my own book on a page for one of these as well. So on the first session, we are going to make sure everyone has their tools set up. I'm going to be working with Excolidraw, with Obsidian and with Readwise. Other tools are also possible, but these are the tools that I'm going to be using and these are the tools where I'm going to be showing the workflow. Also on the first session, we're going to talk about some best practices for creating literature notes. And then we're going to move on to you starting to read the book. So these arrows always show the homework you have. So you will start to read the book and make your highlights. And in a week's time, we're going to meet. This is going to be a first checkpoint about how you're progressing with reading. We're going to have a bit of discussion about early illustration ideas and first experiencing with doing your highlights. And then we're going to talk about different pitfalls and best practices, supporting tools, and overall the workflow for developing your book on a page. You'll continue reading and you'll have two weeks to finish the book. And after two weeks on the 26th of November, we are going to import our literature notes into Obsidian. We're going to share our individual three paragraph summaries of the book. We're going to have a discussion about illustration ideas and we're going to learn about creating atomic visuals alongside your literature notes in Obsidian. 
Then you will start to process your literature notes, creating your highlights and your atomic visuals alongside your highlights. We'll meet on the 3rd of December when we are going to look at the process of importing these individual drawings that you've created and your highlights and putting them on a single page. And then we're going to talk about developing your narrative for the story you want to tell on the book on a page. And we're going to look at some practical best practices and trade-offs for how to organize your book on a page from a very practical point of view. You will then have two weeks to work on your book on a page. After the first week, we're going to have a checkpoint again. In this session, we're going to talk about visual Zettelkasten or visual slip box. In practice, this means that as you created your highlights and as you created atomic visuals for that and you started to build your book on a page, there are certain topics that have stood out to you that are important and you also have some visualizations for that. We're going to talk about how to insert these into your permanent note structure in your knowledge management system. If you're using Zettelkasten, then that. If not, then of course it is about linking your notes, linking your visuals together. You will have another week where you can process your book on a page as well as you can create some of your visual permanent notes and we'll have a final showcase and checkpoint meeting when we're going to share each of our book on a page summaries. We're going to talk about the visual notes, permanent notes that we've created and all together we're going to come up with the learnings from the workshop. So this is my idea for the workshop. I hope you like it. And if you're interested, I've created a web page for the workshop. So please find the link in the description below. And here you can read more about the workshop. I've also included lots of background material here like relevant videos, etc. And if you are convinced and you want this, then please purchase your place in the workshop. This is an introductory price right now. If there's going to be a second cohort, my plan is to double the price for that. So if you're interested in this and if you're limited on budget, I recommend that you seize the opportunity and you sign up to this workshop. And otherwise, read through this page. You will find lots of interesting background material here. And even if you don't participate in the workshop, I think this page is a good starting point to dive deeper in visual personal knowledge management and in the various content that I've been creating over the past couple of years. So hope to see you at the workshop and thank you for watching the video until the end.